Hey, hey YouTube. So, as you can see, I have already completed one shoe. And I have already posted a um, picture of the finished shoes, both of them, um, before this video. So you get to see exactly what I will be making. And with this request, the customer requested that um, the toe part be silver instead of clear. And they want their name on the back, which is A-L-O. So, in this video, you're going to see me finish this shoe here, which I've done one side. I have to just do the other side here. And I'm going to put the satin ribbon inside of the shoe. So, let's pretty much get started. I'm going to pretty much first start on the back with the name as you can see I've already drawn on the name that has been requested and the person wants the name to be in black so they want black rhinestones so we're gonna do black rhinestones and as always I use E6000 glue um, that's my to go to glue you can use whatever glue that you like. The majority of the designers, um, majority of designers use E6000 that I'm aware of. So, enough talking. So, this is pretty much the finish back. I'm pretty much going to let this dry under the fan probably for about 30 minutes. And now we can start on the next part of the shoe. And with these shoes, as you can see, I pretty much, like I said before, did the whole entire side of the um, inner portion of the shoe. The converse. Thank goodness these are low tops. I just said thank goodness these are low tops because <laughs> the high tops take forever. So anyway, so I'm pretty much halfway done with the shoe. So these are assorted rhinestones, so meaning they're in different sizes. So um, pretty much I don't like to have gaps in between my design. So yeah, let's just get started.
So, done pretty much adding the rhinestones to the four sections of the shoes. Um, this outer section here is still kind of wet. I haven't let it fully dry yet, but I want to quickly get into how to do the ribbon um, laces. So you can buy white ribbon laces, or you can just buy some regular ribbon, pretty much from the fabric store, Michael's or um, Joanne's fabric. It can be any ribbon that you want. Um, you can see you can use black ribbon with some um, decor design on it but most people like the solid color so when you get your ribbon you pretty much cut it to the length that you need it to be which is the length of the shoelace and then you're going to take a safety pin put it at the end of each section or each end of the ribbon pretty much so you put it at the very end like this. And then now what you're going to do is just um, put your ribbon in like a shoelace. Just like a regular shoelace. Um, you may have to be a little careful making sure that the ends of the ribbon don't tear and that the pins don't come out because sometimes the pins are kind of fragile and, and um, thin so they may come off the ends. So just being careful that you keep those in place and making sure your laces are neat. You can do whatever design you want with the laces. There are very de various designs that you can do with the shoelaces. Like you can skip a row, and you can do instead of um, <laughs> instead of two sections here, you can do just like one gap all through. But um, the way we have it displayed on the website, it's going like this. <laughs> 